So today being the disappearance day of His Grace Jayananda Prabhu, we will be speaking on some pastimes of Jayanand Prabhu, how he was serving Srila Prabhupada. So we'll start with prayers. Om Adhyana Timirandhasya Adhyana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Svapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guroho Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamscha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Naya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Goratvishe Namaha Ye Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Haripriye Vansha Kalpatarubhyascha Krupa Sindubhya Evacha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We'll chant this. Then. So we are taking the Srimad Bhagavatam verse and then we'll be uh, talking about Jayanand. True. Is there? 36. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya So reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 24, Text 36 Tasmai namo brajajanai saha chakra atmanatmane Aho pashyata shailo so rupi no nugraham vyadhat Tasmai namo brajajanai saha chakra atmanatmane 
तस्म नमो व्रजजन सह चक्र आत्मनात्म अहो पश्यत शैलोषो रूपिनो नुग्रह व्यधा तस्म नमो व्रजजन सह चक्र आत्मनात्म अहो पश्यत शैलोषो रूपिनो नुग्रह व्यधा So word to word translation. Tasmai to him. Namaha obeisances. Vraja janaihi with the people of Vraja. Saha together. Chakre he made. Atmana by himself. Atmane to himself. Aho ah. Pashyata jasi. Shailaha. Hill, aso, this, rupi, manifest in person, naha, upon us, anugraham, mercy, vyadadha, has bestowed. Translation and purport by the servants of Srila Prabhupada. Is Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada ki? Translation. Together with the people of Raja, the Lord bowed down to his this form of Govardhan hill thus in effect offering obeisances to himself then he said just see how this hill has appeared in person and bestowed mercy upon us purport it is clear from this verse that Lord Krishna has expanded himself and as was appearing in his normal form among the festival goers of Vrindavan while simultaneously manifesting himself as the great form of Govardhan hill Thus, in his form as child, Krishna led the residents of Rindavan in bowing down to his new incarnation as Govardhan Hill. And to all, his pointed, to all he pointed out that the great mercy bestowed by this divine form of Govardhan, Lord Krishna's amazing transcendental activities were certainly in keeping with the festive atmosphere. So, as we see here that uh, 10th Canto is going on and we are today celebrating Jayan and Prue's Disappearance Day. So, first of all, I would like to seek the blessings of all the senior Vaishnavas and all of you for discussing some of the uh, very divine pastimes of the very stalwart devotees of Sri Srila Prabhupada and how Jayanand Prabhu by his very enthusiastic uh, Krishna consciousness has uh, captured the hearts of so many devotees. Here also we are seeing that how uh, Govardhan is called as the Haridasa Varya, this topmost devotees and this glorification is done by none other than the gopis. Why he was considered one of the topmost devotees? Because he fully made himself available for all services to Krishna, the gopis, the gopas, the cows, the calves all the Vrajavasis. So, Govardhan was giving himself fully for all the services in terms of giving grass to the cows, giving pasturing place for uh, pastimes for Krishna, Balaram, nice flowing waters, nice uh, shady uh, places, caves. So, we see that a devotee is seen by his, how he offers himself at the lotus feet of Krishna and serves him. So today also we are uh, celebrating one of the very uh, exalted devotee in our 
iskon who was considered a great saint not only by devotees even by shila prabhupad after the disappearance of his grace jayanand prabhu which happened on may 1st 1977 when prabhupad himself was there on the planet so when prabhupad was there he instructed devotees that his disappearance day should be observed the way we observe other exalted acharyas in our line and that's how you see that his name comes even in the vaishnav calendar that this day is marked as his disappearance day so today we with you know, great respect we are trying to see some of the qualities of his grace jayanand prabhu and his services to shila prabhupad so jayanand prabhu being from america and he was very learned from material point of view also he had done his mechanical engineering from ohio state university which is one of the very prestigious university but we see that although he was coming from very prestigious university with prestigious degree he always used to like some simple uh, job where he landed up in doing cab driver so he used to take taxi and like that and when it was asked to him that how come that you are from such a high university and then such highly educated having so many options for better high paid jobs his reply was he said that i didn't fit in with the upper class crowd so actually jayanand pro was not fit in material world and that's how we see that in his that short life of uh, his he showed by his own example how to progress how to achieve krishna consciousness he was always busy in serving krishna although he was one of the senior most devotees in the temple but he will do everything practically he will do cooking he will do giving classes kirtans distribution prasad in the end washing the plates taking out the trash going out on the harinam street sankirtan book distribution taking care of the officials government officials so we see that there was nothing which he didn't do he was expert in everything practically but then we see that he always worked so humbly so enthusiastically that anybody who came in touch with him was contagious effect he had of very enthusiastic uh, devotional service so here we see some of the uh, past times where prabhupad recognized him whenever he used to come to the temple jayanand pro recollects when our movement was just you know beginning prabhupad used to personally cook and then invite so many people to have prasadam and one was jayanand pro so jayanand pro was been called along with all other devotees and prabhupad personally used to cook and feed and pro janan pro writes here 
Shila Prabhupada would cook prasad and serve me, Jayananda recalled. He didn't say anything, he just kept feeding me and I kept eating. So that was the mercy of Prabhupada he received in the beginning days. And then whatever he had acquired in the beginning days by driving the cab and that was quite huge that time five thousand dollars which he gave it to Prabhupada when he joined temple and by which Prabhupada could print Bhagavad Gita as it is so Prabhupada was always indebted to him for this service which he offered we see that Prabhupada, when he was uh, going many places and preaching Krishna consciousness, he himself being an empowered Acharya, he also created such empowered you know, devotees who could also in turn preach very powerfully. And one of the legend in our ISKCON is His Grace Jayanand Prabhu. Wherever specifically he liked to go out and do Harinam Sankirtan. So, one of the you know, I was just going through the lectures of few devotees. So, they were telling that that was one of the things which he liked the most, going out and chanting Hare Krishna with devotees. And he had such a faith in chanting Hare Krishna. Whenever he used to meet anybody, even new person, he will just say that, you just say Hare Krishna. And then he will repeat the Mahamantra, make them repeat. He says, Prabhupada has given this very simple method, very powerful. So you just chant with us. It doesn't take money to pay. So, with that simple heart, he used to connect to people. And then, he could connect so many people that time, so many uh, hippies, so many well-educated people, he could connect to our movement. जाए श्री श्री राधा रास बिहारी जी की जाए श्री श्री सीताराम लक्ष्मण हनुमान की जाए श्री श्री गोनेताय की जाए श्री प्रभुपाद की सो ही वुड ऑलवेज प्रीच टू newcomers and with devotees also because he was like a it's like a fireball of enthusiasm to having so happy mood always to perform Krishna consciousness that whenever new devotees is to join the temple president will always put them in under Jayanand Prabhu to work with and just by being with Jayanand Prabhu, they used to feel so special. They used to feel so privileged. They used to feel so, so much uh, recognized by serving Krishna. So Jayanand Prabhu will make everybody feel that they are doing very great service. Although he was one of the senior most, but he made everybody feel that they are senior. He will deal with everybody as his Prabhu. Whether it's a senior, junior. So that was one very important uh, quality of Jayanand Prabhu. Once it happened that how he was so contagious, one of the devotee, afterwards he became a devotee. 
first time he was coming and then he came to the temple and then the in charge told him that okay you help jayanand prabhu that time jayanand prabhu was taking care of the trash all the dustbin and like that putting it out so he went there and then jayanand prabhu was talking to him collecting the dustbin and things like that and jayanand prabhu was very from his heart he was telling him that previously this trash was taken by municipality people but i am so fortunate to get this service and then he was doing with such a great enthusiasm this boy was so mesmerized he could see that if the trash collector dustbin collector is so happy in this temple what would be other devotees and after that experience he joined the temple and became very nice devotee so his connection in any way was very contagious other person could immediately feel the effect of his uh, krishna consciousness one of the prime quality which jayanand pru exhibited among so many was his very great humility whenever anybody used to even uh, glorify him people knew that if they want to associate with him we can't glorify him because somebody starts glorifying him he will leave he will not hear his own glorification he was so humble that he will not go in front even in front of prabhupad sometimes prabhupad used to come to the temple and prabhupad will come once in a while and general tendency is always there to be in front you know, so that we get the uh, close mercy of prabhupad like that but then he will prefer to do some job understanding in his heart of heart that that will please prabhupad more and the relationship between he and prabhupad was so intimate that whenever prabhupad used to come he used to call he will ask very jayanand and then devotees will go and tell jayanand prabhu they have to find out where is he and when they will go and tell that prabhupad is you know, remembering you so he will be middle of you know, repairing some car or repairing some bus he will say that i am too dirty to go in front of prabhupad so then prabhupad sometimes has to practically uh, make sure that he comes repeatedly calling then he will come you know to meet prabhupad so we have seen also his some of the photographs in the beginning days when prabhupad is giving class he is sitting there with nice uh like a gentleman sitting others are like differently oriented you know hippie devotees they were sitting so prabhupad always uh, had a very special affection for jayanand prabhu one of the another amazing quality of jayanand prabhu was his service attitude now also whenever we have ratha yatras we keep photo of jayanand prabhu in the memory that he was devotee who took the great lead and made this ratha yatra festival very grand because personally he is to construct the cart with great efforts sometimes he will be working for 10 hours 14 hours 16 hours at a stretch to build this you no know, rath and the while building the rath as usual devotees are always less services are more 
so when he will be doing the his services he will always look that how he can engage even passer by somebody is walking by how he can be engaged somebody can be you know like one devotee was you know narrating this story that they had a huge fridge which they had to put on the one lorry and two devotees were there jayanand pru and he but it was very difficult to lift so then jayanand pru looked around and he saw two drunk hippies walking and jayanand pru told that devotee that these two devotees has to be engaged in devotional service so then he went there and then he requested would you like to help and he was so gentle and he was so uh, attractive by his devotional uh, service that these two people came they helped in getting things done and then he thanked them nicely made them chant hare krishna and then he sent them so we see that that was his attitude that he himself was very happy performing krishna consciousness and he always felt that why not the whole world practice it and have the same opportunity to be happy sometimes he will be working on the cart you know fixing the nails and things like that and then he will see somebody walking from the road then he will call can you please come and help me that was one no, way he al- always encourage people keeping himself as needy person and, and can you please help me so people will come so they will come and then he will say that can you please hold this nail i'll hit it so then he will hold the nail and then jayanand pru will hit it and for that one small service of holding the nail he will glorifying like he has done uh, he has got some mountain from somewhere and he will glorify that such a nice way you have you know, put the nail very perfect why don't you take another nail and then he will hold another nail then he will hit it and he will glorify like anything and he will also be so happy to be with jayanand pru then jayanand pru will take that okay now you take the nails also you take this hammer also you only now put the nails and like that he will be there with him for 10 hours so that was his very special uh, ability to engage everybody in serving krishna we see that uh, jayanand pru never engaged in fault finding of devotees because anywhere he will see somebody finding fault with other devotee even if it is real he will walk out from that place or he will feel that fault as if that is not such a significant like that so that was one of the uh quality of jayanand pru that he was never seen speaking harshly or kind of a correcting or uh, chastising devotees will never see him like that so as a true vaishnava he was always very eager to fan even if little small spark is there of krishna consciousness and as the six goswamis they were known dhira dhira janapriya priya karo nirmat sarav pujito that they were equally attracted to dhira and adhira they were equally attracted to the gentles and ruffians similarly jayanand prabhu also was similarly very attractive to all types of people sometimes jayanand pru will walk in 
some bar because he has to have some collections for rath yatra when he will walk in even some of the drunkards who knows him they will get up with respect that he has come so he had such a nature sometimes devotees used to see some drunkards and when they will see devotees they will call the devotees seeing their face and their dress and like that and then they will enquire you know janand is my best friend he will say like that so he was best friend of everybody he was best friend of drunkards he was best friend of uh, government officials he was best friend of devotees everybody everybody felt that he is my best friend so that's how he uh, encouraged loved everybody and that's how everybody loved him that's how he is you know, as we were discussing that how rath yatra we find his picture he is called as the king of rath yatra specifically when every year he used to make this rath and because he was from mechanical engineering he was using all his uh, technical knowledge also to construct that whole huge rath and prabhupad was very much uh, happy the way he was doing that how he was is that he always felt that it is such a great fortune that he has received a spiritual master like shri prabhupad and then in the line of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and whenever devotees were doing service he always felt that i should assist them he never was for post position like that although he was one of the most senior devotee in the temple so when he saw that devotees are going out and doing sankirtan book distribution and some of them only they used to drive but then he thought that i don't know how they will drive so he only became their driver and then he used to take the bus for sankirtan and book distribution like that and he was very happy doing that so one of the devotee in the sankirtan was describing he said he was always in this mood that how to give this benefit of krishna consciousness to other people so he was telling that in the bus they were going once and then they they were going by road so many trees were there then janan pru saw one very nice fruit laden tree apple tree so janan pru stopped the car then he went there he said there so many fruits are there and this fruit has to be offered to krishna and anybody who eats that fruit will get mahaprasad so he went there and then he started doing his gayatri and offering that whole tree to uh, krishna so he offered the whole tree only and then he was very happy that you know he did that so that was his great into for in any way somehow give krishna consciousness to others and he used to be so busy that hardly he used to sleep 2 3 hours and he was almost like a source of inexhaustible energy he was first to wake up early in the morning and he was last to go to the bed and he will do hundreds of services so once danvir maharaj asked him question he asked him that how does one make spiritual advancement in krishna consciousness and jayanand pru's answer was classic he said i don't know i am too busy working to serve krishna and i don't think about um, these things 
so that answer itself shows that how to advance in krishna consciousness that he was least bothered about his own physical or any other you know things he was just engaged fully in krishna service prabhupad service and that's how he became very dear to all the devotees prabhupad wrote a letter to him in 1975 to jayanand prabhu he says i was very happy to get your recent letter i am always thinking of you and praying to krishna for your advancement in krishna consciousness yes i remember the old days in san francisco krishna has been so kind upon me to have sent so many sincere disciples to help me push on this movement on behalf of my guru maharaj you continue with your program there in san francisco always strictly keeping our principles and krishna will bless you with greater and greater realization of the importance of this movement i am dependent upon you and my older disciples to carry it on i hope this meets you well so prabhupad is writing a letter to jayanand prabhu in 1975 here the uh, one of the final meeting with shila prabhupad which took place in new york in 1976 ratha yatra so when prabhupad arrived at airport jayanand prabhu was there to drive so prabhupad was sitting in the back seat and he asked who is driving the devotee said this is jayanand so prabhupad was very pleased he says oh i know jayanand and then prabhupad said he gave me 5000 dollars to print my bhagavad gita so prabhupad always felt indebted to his dear devotees how they gave themselves fully in serving his spiritual master so one of the uh, few things which uh, some of the devotees were expressing after his departure one devotee from mexico he was describing this one past time how much he meant in his own life serving prabhupad and how was his great love for prabhupad that how we see in uh, when the prahlad maharaj he is such a special devotee that for one devotee one full incarnation came did the job and went you never find any other incarnation like that they deal with so many devotees and then do so many things but narsingha dev just came for one one devotee so in that sense prahlad maharaj is so special and when narsingha dev is personally in front asking for benediction prahlad maharaj was remembering his spiritual master narad muni and he was asking narad muni that always keep me in service of narad muni that was the prayer offered by palad maharaj so we see this great personalities they are always thinking themselves acting in that way to be always servant of their spiritual master so in the later age 1977 the jayanand prabhu was like it was uh, when his health was deteriorating he was not even ready to go to hospital and do check up and things like that after great push of devotees he went and then unfortunately they found that he was having a cancer doctor said that very few days so then although he was staying in temple 
but then devotees they forced him practically to take a proper place under proper supervision of devotees so when devotees were feeling very sad that uh, he was he has contracted this deadly disease and is going to be with us for very short time so one of the devotee muktakesh prabhu he went to meet him you can imagine somebody lying in the bed with cancer about to pass away after few days so when he went there and then like beds are there in the so he went and just casually started sitting on the bed so janan pru said no 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 don't sit on the bed so he said uh, what happened he said no and then he muktakesh pru could see that he had kept a photograph of prabhupada on that bed and then janan pru started explaining that i never in my life slept on such nice bed so i felt that i should not take this privilege now he is the patient he is having a cancer and he was thinking that why should i take this privilege and then he said that this is meant for prabhupada and then he has kept a pillow and on pillow he has kept prabhupada's photo and he was worshiping prabhupada there giving him the special privilege and he was sleeping down patient is sleeping down and he has kept prabhupad photo on the bed offering that bed to prabhupad so muktakesh pru was in tears seeing this how much janan pru even in that case he was trying to be servant of chala prabhupad so in such situation when devotees used to come thinking that he is you know now very sick and then they they wanted to come and give some uh, encouragement but when they used to come they used to get encouraged by the association of jayanand pru so when jayanand pru left prabhupad wrote a very special letter after his departure which prabhupad never did for any Uh, of his disciples so after his departure and propad wrote that letter from mumbai only that was 5th may 1977 very special letter propad writes my dear jayananda please accept my blessings i am feeling very intensely your separation In 1967 you joined me in San Francisco you were driving my car and chanting hare krishna you were the first man to give me some contribution 5000 dollar for printing my bhagavad gita after that you have rendered very favorable service to krishna in different ways so i hope at that time of your death you were remembering krishna and as such you have been promoted to the eternal association of krishna if not if if you had any tinge of material desire you have gone to the celestial kingdom to live with the demigods for many thousands of years and enjoy the most opulent life of material existence from there you can promote yourself to the spiritual world so it appears propad is giving a second but then next line only propad clarifies but even if one fails to promote himself to the spiritual world at that time he comes down again to the surface of this globe and takes birth in a big family like a yogis or brahmanas or an aristocratic family where there is again chance of receiving krishna consciousness so but in the last line propad gives his mercy last line propad says but as you were ch- hearing krishna kirtan i am sure 
that you are directly promoted to krishna loka is grace jayanand pru ki so this is the letter to late jayanand pru written by shila prabhupad in bombay 5th may 1977 so we see that these are the some of the just uh, glimpses of pure unadulterated service attitude of his grace jayanand pru towards prabhupada and krishna so because such devotees are there in the movement we have uh, great hope that one day we will also receive mercy of krishna and shila prabhupad so on this day we pray to his grace jayanand pru to bestow even one drop of this service attitude and humility which he had in service to shila prabhupad which made him so dear to prabhupad that he wanted us to celebrate his disappearance putting his name in the vaishnava calendar is grace janan pru ki sula prabhu pad ki would like to take some of the no, comments and hare krishna thank you. you you covered most of the points um, one thing uh, about uh, jayananda prabhu that uh, once shil prabhupad was there in uh, uh, new jersey stinson beach that time prabhupad commented uh, this govindasi mata ji she is a very simple devotee then they asked why because while plucking the flowers she is always chanting hare krishna <laughs> so that is the definition of simplicity for shri prabhupad so in the same way he commented about uh, jayananda prabhu also no i have observed um, jayananda is a very nice devotee uh, even while driving he was always chanting hare krishna <laughs> uh, so that was his speciality one more thing uh, while uh, constructing the chariot he fell very sick and then he was so much in uh, uh, intense pain but still he continued to do that so in 1976 uh, ratha yatra he could not attend uh, because uh, he uh, he was in a lot of pain and then uh, when he was uh, forced to uh, he was diagnosed with cancer and all and then american government gives money that money gave it to prabhupad then prabhupad this said no 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 don't do that you will you will need uh, you know for your medication proba he said proba this is my terminal i am in a terminal stage why should i waste my my uh, why should i waste money for my treatment and all so you please take it so shila prabhupad i think uh, uh, i think that book is uh, that money is used for printing bhakti rasam sindhu or something so prabhupad writes in the introduction to uh, in uh, prologa what bhakti rasam sindhu that i am very thankful to jayananda sadhikari mm-hmm. uh, for uh, contributing uh, uh, this money another great contribution of jayanand prabhu that uh, he influenced all the shopkeepers in san francisco uh, during ratha yatra that they that they would give all the ingredients free for uh, distribution great distribution of prasadam and then everybody loved it and then he was so municipality officers that uh, they um, uh, they declared holiday for ratha yatra in san francisco i think 13th july or something 13th july. even now yeah yeah so when uh, in 1977 when they went to ratha uh, uh, take permission so the municipality officers they asked where is jayananda where is jayananda and then they said he is no more and they all started crying it seems because he was so nice and friendly with them uh, like that so very nice uh, <laughs> that's why shri prabhupa said keep his photograph i think subhadra rath we are supposed to keep right
Hare Krishna. There was just one pastime, Danavir Maharaj says, when uh, they were going for one jail program, and uh, Danavir Maharaj was driving the van, and several devotees were behind. And uh, Jananda Prabhu, he made a halava. It was like extraordinary halava, very juicy with all kinds of fruits. And then devotees asked, you know, how is it? Let us just taste a little bit before we reach the jail. And they started eating a little bit and tasting, 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 tasting. And Danavir Maharaj was getting very upset, very angry practically. And then just in a very short period of time, practically, they finished all the halava. So when they reached the jail, then the, uh, whoever was in charge, he told them, yes, he knew about Krishna, devotees of Krishna, but he said, you know, you, can, uh, you cannot bring any food inside. It is very strictly forbidden. So then devotees were very happy because they finished all the halava, but they held the rest of the program. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Any other comments? Yes. Fast. Okay. And then even when even when Shri Prabhupada would come, he would hardly meet Shri Prabhupada because he, he felt that service to Prabhupada is more important than personal. But Prabhupada would insist, come, come, come. But Darshan Si would come because he is so tired. Uh, he would fall asleep in front of, in, in the presence of Prabhupada. <laughs> but Prabhupada never minded. <laughs> yeah. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. I heard that Jayanand Prabhu was chanting very intensely, even though like he had done almost night out driving the cab, but in the morning he used to chant very intensely. Can you describe yeah. something? Some of the devotees, they uh, give some anecdotes regarding how he used to chant. He will sit in yogic posture and then he will chant very loudly, rocking back and forth, almost touching the ground only. So, if somebody comes, he will be very surprised to see that. But that's how he used to chant very loudly, like bullets coming out powerfully. So, that was very special about Jayanand Prabhu. Yeah, one Mataji is having some comments. Uh, Hare, Hare Krishna. Uh, foremost, thank you very much for the, uh, for me it was an introduction to, Jay, to the glories of Jayanand Prabhu. Uh, I just have a reflection. Um, you know, we very nicely heard, you know, he was so surrendered that whatever $5,000 he had, he gave it all to Prabhupada. Um, so I think we observe as a reflection that when you make a very significant contribution, you get blessings. And then the road ahead you know, that one significant thing you do, then the road ahead becomes very clear or easy to travel. And then you're able to do probably every service beautifully, you know, the way you described and, you know, uh, things you mentioned. So I'm just, my reflection is very often people are, we are not able to find that one strength or that one way how we can contribute. And that's why consciously or unconsciously we're seeking our own validation. And that becomes an impediment to be maybe 1% of the reference, you know, as you said. So just a reflection. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Any, anyone else? Hare Krishna. Uh, Mataji was saying something, if I misunderstood, correct me, that she's saying that uh, first you have to make your contribution, then you get mercy. Is that what she's saying? Some special service rendering, that 
sometimes uh, when we are uh, stuck many people are not able to blossom because they don't know how to contribute and that contribution makes the way for them to go ahead well in 1966 shil prabhupad was walking with some of his early disciples and in downtown manhattan next to 26 second avenue so while he was walking with uh, two of his early disciples maybe three yeah so one of them told shil prabhupad at least they said at that time they said swami ji don't go that way there's a drunken man there you know because a little rough in the behavior yeah and the drunken man was on the street then shil prabhupad looked at his disciple and he said you were once like that why are you stopping me so then the disciples realized that prophet's vision is completely different yeah brabha said we will walk that way so when they walked and prabha was a few meters away from the drunken man who these early disciples who were like that before yeah. so the drunken man has his favorite attendant just like krishna has his favorite attendant is his flute but the drunken man's favorite attendant is his bottle of wine proper called his bottle of wine yeah so in front of shilu prabhupad the drunken man was drinking the wine and shilu prabhupad commented to his disciples while looking at the drunken man ah if only he could feel the taste of wine is krishna that's all but the drunken man never made any contribution all his contribution was a drinking liquor why see so it's not necessary that one has to make one's contribution to actually attract the mercy of the pure devotees but the pure devotees give the mercy freely whether people want it or not and then a few months later the drunken man walked into 26 second avenue and he later became an initiated devotee that's the problem and some of the disciples are shilu prabhupad uh, how is that that you said that ah uh, if i can only feel the taste of wine is krishna that's how prabhupad said the prabhupad quoted bhagavad gita but prabhupad's vision of bhagavad gita is even more than krishna's more than vyasa did so prabhupad said yes rasam apsukunteya the krishna says i am the taste of water but he said but that's not water that's like wine prabhupada said that may be you know but it's rotten water that's okay so the mercy of the exalted personalities is first and then we make our contribution and then you get more mercy and the prophet mentions many times that the, the mercy of krishna follows the mercy of the pure devotees that's how we become devotees both ways are there hari krishna iskre janan pro ki chala prabhu pad ki